What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay, I'm not Martin, but still. Either way, um, I'm recording this on a Saturday night uh, because my son has a performance tomorrow and he's going to be killing these drums. So, I don't know what the evening's going to bring, so I just figured might as well knock it out tonight, right? Um, so, I've been practicing this for, like this one, I actually needed some time uh, because this shape right here, okay, so... This is a first inversion, which from my piano practice days, I understand inversions and those sort of things. But I kept trying to get it into my head how it worked on the bass. So if we take just C here, that's my root, and I play a C, and then I go to the three, C, E, G, right? That makes sense, right? So I kept thinking, okay, if I'm going three, five, one, then three, five. I'm like, oh, no. That don't really, ain't really the sound I was looking for. Um, so this shape, being that it is a little bit of a different shape, took me some rethinking in my head of how how to actually achieve this, um, this particular shape in the, the first inversion, where you're playing the three, the five, and then the one, as opposed to the one, three, five. So took me some practice um, this week. So this isn't exactly a day of work. This is multiple days. And I kept having to, like <laughs> I was sitting in Zoom meetings with my camera off. And so I did it with my camera off, like working on, you know, these inversions and trying to do that. And so, but, you know, I mean, I can't complain really, um, you know, it's worked out um, in terms of me being able to uh, do better at using this. And let me get this ready real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the, so the same tune. Uh, hold up. The same tune that we were playing, or same backing track. <laughs> I sound so old. Like this tune that we're about to play. Um, <laughs> so uh, this backing track is the same backing track that you'll be familiar with. Um, I'm going to actually just do the one bar. So you remember the other one was, you know, you play like the CEG. You just wait you know, for another bar, and then you go to the FAC, and then you wait, wait. Well, now it's, you know, I've been practicing with one bar. I start with two, and then I move to one, um, and then from there, I end up moving to the 140. So this is at 110, but I'm going to play it at 140 as well. So, all right, enough talking. You guys didn't come for the talking. You came for the bass. All right. I just got through shaving and I got this like aftershave on my hands. I thought I was sweating when I was practicing earlier, but hands feel kind of greasy. All right. I actually hadn't, maybe I should have practiced this standing up because now that I look down, I'm like, I can't see where I'm going. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna try this out. Standing up for the first time, live on camera. Let's get it.
mistake where I actually I came and played the F first inversion and it was supposed to be the E first inversion. So all right. So not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right. Let's get the next one up. So now let's try this at 140. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get it. That's what I get. Started getting a little cocky, and all of a sudden, now I'm just thinking I'm hitting everything right, and I'm on the wrong note. Man. That's messed up. <laughs> ah, that's all right, though. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Okay, so that's at 110, and that's at 140. First inversion of the major triads. Uh, this is still very interesting. I'm still loving this course. Um, it's pressing me and, stre and stretching me. Um, if you pay attention to this video compared to the first Scott's bass lesson or the second or the third, you can see I'm definitely more comfortable uh, <laughs> in those videos. I couldn't talk. Like I couldn't call out where I was going. I could think it, but the minute I started trying to say it, I couldn't. But you see now this time I was able to do it at the 140 and get through it. So appreciate it, Scott. Scott's Bass Lesson, uh, I highly recommend uh, this course. So they don't have it open right now. Um, this is the course, the Fretboard Accelerator. I highly suggest it. So if they open it back up and you want to master your fretboard, I don't think there's a better way to do it. Anyway, I'm not getting paid for these promotions, but I'm just liking the product. So why would I not promote it? So day whatever this is. Onward and upward, time for the next lesson. We out.